Look, I'm making another video. Aren't I... Aren't I good? I put up a poll on Twitter the other day. Uh, I asked uh, what video people would like to see this month. The options were me rambling about Avengers Endgame, a Game of Thrones uh, season 8 rant, or this. Oh, and paint dry. So to give you a bit of context as to why I filmed this in the first place, um, procrastination has been a huge problem for me. The other day I was literally, I went down to brush my teeth and two hours later I came upstairs having brushed my teeth. Two hours. <laughs> I was not spending that long brushing my teeth. I fell into like a YouTube hole and like I was literally just sat on the side of my bath just watching video after video. So yeah, I decided to challenge myself to not use my mobile phone at all for seven days. Uh, social media is fine, but I had to do it on my laptop, not on my phone. It was basically stopping myself from having this like tool of distraction in my hand all the time. I could have my actual phone displaying this. So, so if you follow me on Instagram, you might already know this anyway, but I got a new camera. Don't know what I'm doing with it. Have no idea how any of the settings work. I've never been a huge photography person. I decided to film the process to kind of practice and, and get to know the camera a bit more and find out what I need to fine tune before my June vlogs. So this was never actually a video that I intended to upload. Um, I've kind of been sat on a rough edit of this for about two or three weeks now. So alongside the sort of main challenge of living without a phone for seven days, uh, there are a few other little challenges sprinkled in as well. So this was filmed around the time that I put up the Dumbo review video. Uh, so I was trialing a new style of video for my channel. Um, I also set myself a task to do a three day dream trial with my friend Jesse, who you will see later in the video. So I've rambled enough. So um, yeah, without further ado, let's get into the video. It is 1 p.m. on Saturday the 6th of April and I'm going to say goodbye to this for a whole week. Here it goes. See you in a week. Uh, there's a lot of new things being trialed. A vlog that isn't about Disney, first of all, with this. Uh, and then I'm also filming a my review of Dumbo. I, I saw it last week. I did quite like it, but a lot of odd choices were made. So that is something I thought would be quite amusing to put into a video. Whether people will watch it, we don't know. Today currently looks like this. I've got to film the video, walk the dog, have dinner, and then I've got to go to work. And I also need to figure out what I'm doing in terms of an alarm clock. <laughs> um, day one is not going very well. So in the search for an alarm clock earlier, um, discovered that we don't have a spare one in this house. So I moved some things around. We're gonna do the uh, the Dumbo review tomorrow. Now I need to walk the dog and then go find an alarm clock. Do you wanna go for a walk? So one thing that I'd usually be doing on a dog walk, uh, I usually listen to a podcast or a new album or maybe listen to like a YouTube video in my pocket. Um, but I can't do that. Is it the end of the world? No. <laughs> like, don't get me wrong, it would be nice if I could listen to nature and stuff, but there's like roads around where I walk my dog, so you can just hit that. So, missing the music, I'm not gonna lie, I'm missing the music. So I've just arrived at Asda, so I would usually play music from my own phone in my car, and I can't do that without a phone. So I listen to the radio. Not a big deal, not the end of the world. Now I need to go see if I can get an alarm clock. Okay, so Asda was a complete fail. They were out of stock of the alarm clocks that they usually have. Uh, and I went to B&M and the range. Not sure if you can see that, yeah. Uh, couldn't find any alarm clocks anywhere. Uh, um, I will say one thing as well. I have no concept of time because I don't have my phone on me. It wasn't until I got in my car just now and realised that I only have 20 minutes to get to work. So, this I may need to invest in a watch. Okay, so I've just finished work. I probably won't record when I get home. So I'll do like my end of day thoughts. So, uh, I haven't missed my phone too much today. Um, it's been like minor inconveniences. The main things I, uh, I'm concerned about at the minute is timekeeping. 
don't have an alarm, that was an entire fail today. <laughs> I think what I'm gonna do is just leave my blinds open so when the sun comes up, I'm sort of naturally woken up. The other problem I had mainly was knowing what time it was throughout the day. Like I genuinely could have been late to work today and I wouldn't have known. Um, I wasn't, it was fine. But I don't even think I have a watch anywhere in my house. I think I had one when I was about 15. I am someone who's quite spontaneous. I don't usually plan things too far in advance. It is usually a spare in the moment thing when I do anything. So I think without a phone, my social life would have to change. I'd have to be a planner. I'm not a planner. We'll see how we do tomorrow. It is day two. Um, I did not get up until about 11. So I'm already three hours behind my schedule. <laughs> I thought leaving the blinds open would help. It didn't. Uh, so I just need to find some form of alarm clock today, but I'm three hours behind schedule, so I probably won't be able to. Right, <laughs> I don't know how I fit it in, but Dunbar Review has been filmed. Um, I do really need to figure out what I'm going to do for alarm, because I have a lot of things that rely on other people tomorrow as well, so I can't wake up late again. It is 3.20, I don't start work till 6, but I have to leave at 5, so I have an hour and 40 minutes to try and edit this Dumbo video, so I don't have to stay up until 5am doing that today. I also need to put my room back together because I trashed it trying to find a better place to put this sofa um, before just deciding to keep it exactly where it was and just dealing with lighting that wasn't exactly ideal. Um, but no, we're, we're cracking on. New camera, I still haven't worked out the settings. I think some of the Dumbo review is unfocused. <laughs> but I don't care, I do, I do care, but I don't care anymore. Um, right, so let's see if we can catch up with everything. Other than that, in terms of not having a phone, I haven't ran into many obstacles today. Yeah, I'm not really, there's nothing drastic apart from the alarm issue so far. Okay, it's 10 past five, I need to leave for work now. Still ed editing the video, uh, I'm still, I'm nearly there. I've, I've just got to finish the last few bits, watch it all, double check everything, edit it, add any subtitles and captions. Okay, no, I have quite a lot to do still, but it's okay because it's Sunday, that's usually quite quiet at work, so hopefully I can finish earlier and I won't be up too late working on this, ready to upload and schedule it for tomorrow. So I'm back from work, it was quite quiet, so I only had like a four hour shift. Um, did discover a new issue with not having my phone actually, because work had actually texted me to say that I'm not needed um, and I could have swapped my shift if I wanted to. So I could have not gone in today and I could have caught up with all this schedule that I got behind on from oversleeping, but it's fine. Uh, I've also sussed out what I'm going to do for an alarm clock tomorrow because uh, I've got a few things I need to do tomorrow. I have to get this video uploaded, scheduled, all the description, all the subtitles, uh, and then need to meet my friend Jesse because uh, we've got that gym trial, so we're going to that. And then I want to find a coffee shop and do the subtitles for part six of my series with Adam. This video is only meant in jest, like, I enjoyed the film, but there were some funny, strange choices uh, that I thought I would talk about with you today. I am so sick of looking at my face. I'm gonna leave that video to export so I can upload it in the morning, it's like 1.30 at night. I'm going to bed and I need to charge my camera because it's about to die for the first time. Good morning, it's day three. Um, can't say I'm missing my phone at all, um, but I am back behind schedule. Uh, I luckily had a nightmare, so I woke up at like six, seven ish this morning, and I just thought I'd check the sort of status of the export from my movie, uh, and it failed. <laughs> I was gonna upload it, but it failed because I didn't have enough room. Um, so. I spent two hours clearing room on my computer. I've managed to clear up 120 gigabytes, so that should stop my computer moving at a snail pace. It's now exporting again. It says it's got about 45 minutes left and it is 9.46. Uh, I have to leave at 12, but I also have to upload it to YouTube, schedule it, do the description tags, thumbnail, and the closed captions all in less than two and a half hours don't think it's gonna happen so i might have to reschedule and rather than doing the closed captions for part six later today i might have to do the closed captions for this video later today 
and just schedule it without them to begin with. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I'm so tired. <laughs> At last, my love has come along. So because me and Jesse are going to the gym for the first time in a while, I've been trying on old workout clothes to see if they still fit. And uh, it's quite a harrowing experience. If old clothes don't fit, you're kind of like, oh, well, that's why I'm starting to exercise again. But if old workout clothes don't fit, it's like, that means you've let yourself go more than the last time that you let yourself go. It's quite a dark moment, but it, it's snug, but it just about fits. So one thing I will say um, about this whole no phone thing as well is the point of not having my phone on me for a week is kind of to stop procrastination. But I won't lie to you, I've been watching uh, Tanya Hennessy's videos on YouTube for longer than I'd care to admit, but it is while, you know, it is while my Dumbo review uploads. So, you know, what else am I doing with this time? What else am I doing with it? It's fine. Okay, so only a little bit behind on schedule now. Uh, we've picked up the lovely Jesse, and we're gonna go be healthy people, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I thought mine were bad. <laughs> I told you mine were bad. We're gonna figure out where we have to park and d d slowly die in the gym. <laughs> Just paid in cash for parking for the first time in a very long time. <laughs> right, so we figured out parking. We think the gym is like there. Is it like here? A little bit further. Okay. Yeah. So we're only like ten minutes behind schedule, which, considering the morning, I'll take. <laughs> and considering you got lost. I may have got lost on the way here. <laughs> Ipswich is actually looking quite pretty today. Terrifying. We just did like a virtual Zimba thing. <gasps> so good. It was not good. It was, it awful. was good. <laughs> it was good. <laughs> How are you feeling? Knackered. Knackered. <laughs> My life. <laughs> Something you don't see enough in a gym. A sofa. We've just finished at the gym. Jessie's just had to run back to get a towel and her coat because she forgot them. This, I will say, is the first time that I am really nervous not having my phone. A video went live at 1pm um, and I have no way to monitor that everything's gone okay or check the comments or anything. I, d I don't know if it's going to perform well. Um, and I want people to like it. But I also have no way of monitoring if people do like it or if they hate it. It's a new concept for videos as well, not in, not for YouTube, but for me because it's like a it's the review of Dumbo. Haven't done anything like this before, so I am very nervous. I'm I do wish I had my phone now. It's quarter past three. I think we're gonna go find a Starbucks and be those people that sit and work in a Starbucks so I can check on everything that's happening. Uh, I did bring my laptop with me. There she is, the wild Jessie. Okay, it's a lot later. I forgot to film the rest of the day. Not having my phone when a video had just gone up, I was feeling really anxious. Um, I didn't like that. I couldn't sort of see how people were feeling about it. I've uploaded it with a thumbnail that I wouldn't have uploaded it with. Uh, usually I'd then sort of put something out on Instagram and that tends to be where most of my like traffic I think comes from. I, I, I needed to give it as much effort as I was giving the other videos if I wanted it to sort of be seen and get decent feedback on it. We decided to try and find something Dumbo related in town to um, get a photo and good old B&M came through and, and we found some Dumbo teddies so we took some photos. I've just got back this evening um, and just chilled with the family for a bit and then I've done a thumbnail that's a bit, has a bit more effort into it. And I also figured out how to use Instagram through a desktop. General thoughts so far, coming to the end of day three without a phone, it's like the little nitty things that are really starting to catch up with me today. Like posting an Instagram took, it should take about five minutes. It took me two hours, pretty much. 
um, like I'm achieving more but everything I'm doing is taking a lot longer. Oh, and the gym without music, that was horrific. I forgot to get an alarm clock in town, but I found an alarm clock from my childhood. Are you ready for this? Morning, Gromit. Time for walkies. I just need to figure out how this works. Morning, Gromit. This thing Time won't for stop. Morning, Gromit. Oh, thank God. I snoozed it before the off button doesn't work. You just have to snooze it. No. <laughs> no. Everything's fine. Good morning. It's a new day. Um, I'm running a little bit behind, so we're straight in the car today. Um, update on the alarm clock. Uh, the Wallace and Gromit alarm clock went off every hour, so I ended up taking the batteries out and I didn't wake up till half 10 instead of half eight. Plan for today is gonna go pick up Jesse. We've got the second day of our like gym trial thing. And then we're gonna go watch Captain Marvel and then I've got work. So let's go. I've got the lovely Jesse again. We're back. Yay. How are you feeling after the gym yesterday? My legs hurt. <laughs> like bad. My, my arms kill. Um, oh yeah, you know we went to the gym yesterday. Sam. We came out of the gym like, yes, we're going to eat healthy food. It was only one lemon yum yum. <laughs> um, also, I haven't told um, these guys yet, but... Wow! <laughs> I want to do cardio today and I don't have uh, my phone, so we're using a Sony Walkman. Do you remember what this is, kids? So this sign always makes me miss Tower of Terror. <laughs> Exercising every day does make me feel better, but I'm in pain. Update, we have been to the gym, killed it. We've just been in there and saw Captain Paul. Um, Jesse had already seen it, but I had not. not see it too many times. No. Um, it was good. Uh, I think everyone kind of jumped to conclusions, slagging it off, but... Yeah, I liked it. It's a generic Marvel film still, but it was a good one, so. Have we got the car? Yes, we have. The car is there. <laughs> I've just said goodbye to Jesse because I've now got her to work. Um, current feelings on having no phone. Today's been fine. Um, alarm is still an issue, but other than that, not at all a problem. Um, I still have my laptop with me, so I uh, just got a coffee after the film to check on how the Dumbo video is doing. Um, it's past a thousand views. Once the video gets past a thousand views, I'm happy. I'm like, okay, you can you can do whatever numbers you want now. Just because reading through the comments, it's kind of reassured me that people are liking the reviews, and I like that people are giving their own opinions in the views, and they don't always necessarily match mine, which is good. That's a discussion. That's what we want. But um, enough people like it that I don't feel like, you know, I'm offending the world by putting the video out there. So that's good. Now I can relax. <laughs> So we are now at the end of day four. We're past the halfway point now. Current observations. Th this is kind of what I thought would be the case. When I have my phone, I don't mean to, but I will just sit on it for like six hours. And then I'll get to the point where it's only like two hours until I've got to be at work. So I'll go, oh, there's no point in me doing anything now. But because I don't have that, you, you kind of get bored. So you actively plan things. Like I'd only really planned Monday, Tuesday, uh, well, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday this week. Uh, it's obviously Wednesday tomorrow. Um, I've got my schedule in front of me. <laughs> I'll show you. Mainly the laundry, walking the dog. Uh, I need to finish the closed captions because this has taken longer than I thought it would. Then I've got the gym, got to drop Jesse off, and then I'm going to try and fit in Pet Cemetery. I really want to see it. Um, but then I'm going to work. I have arranged to be woken up quite early tomorrow before everyone else leaves for work, so I'm gonna go to bed. Good night. No. 
time for work. Day five done. This is easy now. My favorite thing about being able to work from home when I'm not doing my other job is I could do it like this. Ooh. And I can just be in bed warm. That's it. I'm just doing the closed captions for the Dumbo video a bit later than I wanted to do it. Usually I'd try and do this before the video goes up, but it's it, it, I've had a lot to get done. But yeah, I've got to walk the dog in a minute and then head to work. I actually have to leave for work in about an hour, so I should probably walk the dog in a minute. So I didn't actually film anything on the Friday. Um, I did mean to, just forgot, but it, it wasn't a very interesting day anyway. I basically started a marketing course online back in like January uh, and I did some coursework for that. Here's dramatic reenactment. And then um, after that I just went to work, work, so it wasn't very fun, but uh, yeah, on to the next day. It's the final day! We can do this! Another run for the road. It's crazy how much you'll exercise when you're that bored. Guys, I didn't even realise at the time. It is 1.52. I could have had my phone for this whole last hour. Look. Look. Hello, baby. I've missed you. Wait, will it still have charge? It should still have charge, right? Oh, uh, I may need to charge this. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> kind of rude that it's just 16, but okay. Those I've kept on top of. Oh, that's a business email that I have not responded to. Whoa. <laughs> so there you have it, that's the main bulk of the weekly vlog segment done. Uh, final thoughts on not having a phone for seven days. Uh, it was actually a lot easier than I thought. I thought I'd be tempted to reach into the drawing at my phone a lot more than I was. And it was only when I was trying to figure out how to Instagram for a desktop that I actually had that thought. So other than that, didn't really miss it. Uh, alarm clock was an issue. Timekeeping in general was an issue. Uh, no music at the gym was tough. <laughs> uh, I did try using the Sony Walkman. Uh, it claims to be shock absorbent, but uh, shock proof it was not. I'd say it's definitely easier to be more productive when you haven't got something distracting you all the time, but at the same time, that you know, everything did take longer because I didn't have the immediacy of having everything I need at my fingertips all the time. Um, basically, this challenge is just live how people did. 20 years ago for seven days and stop being so entitled. One thing I will say really shocked me, I wasn't expected to get this at all. Um, although I had moments where I was more anxious without my phone, because um, the safety blanket aspect of it is gone, I was a lot less stressed. I think it's easy to feel overwhelmed and stressed when you've got constant reminders and notifications of things that you need to do or people that you need to respond to. I didn't think that I was over pressuring myself or over stressing myself with having it as like a big to-do list. But yeah, I guess I guess when you're constantly aware that you still need to respond to people when you get home. This has taught me that I can go away for the day and come back and the world hasn't ended. Nobody cares. Chill out. <laughs> I was able to essentially get everything on my to-do list done in a day and then when I got home I'd then see all the things that still need to be done and I'd make a to-do list for the next day. And it was just a lot cleaner than constantly adding things and taking things off a to-do list that just never ends. It was a lot more rewarding. I was a lot less stressed. It was really nice. Going forwards, am I going to live without my phone again? No. Am I going to be a bit more conscious of how I use my phone? Yeah, definitely. I've already kind of adjusted it a bit. So sometimes when I do know I have things to do and I'm just at home for the day, I will put my phone in the drawer turn it off and I won't touch it, but when I leave the house it comes with me. <laughs> uh, I've definitely slipped back into some old YouTube habits, 
uh, especially with Game of Thrones going on at the minute. I watch so many fan theories, so many. <laughs> I think one thing I've really learned from this is just to be more present. Um, it's so easy to just be on your phone without realising it and you're constantly looking at ways to like keep yourself busy and, and distract yourself that you don't really appreciate everything that's going on around you. I've really enjoyed this week. I've had a laugh with close friends, I've had a laugh with my family, it's just been a really nice week. I, I was there in the world and experiencing it, I wasn't walking around the world with my phone in my hand and my eyes on my phone and yeah, I don't know, it was really, it was nice. I'm sorry if this isn't the video that you did want to see, uh, if you do still want to see the end game or Game of Thrones stuff, uh, I probably will still do those videos. Um, thank you very much for watching, thank you if you voted on the Twitter poll, oh if you do want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram, uh, the details are always in the description. Uh, it's infrequent, but authentic. I think that's it. Bye!